Let's go to Springstone Farm. We are driving from Boston on Route 93 to Route 89 in Lower New Hampshire. We are on our way to Springstone Farm in Waitsfield, Vermont. We are exiting on Route 100 with the Mad River on our right and then it crosses to our left. It's a magnificent day, the foliage is in full bloom, and the hills of Springstone Farm are in view in front of us. Route 100 goes right through the center of Waitsfield. Some magnificent farms in the countryside along the way. We're gonna exit here on the left, which is Trumley Road, which is just a few minutes from the center of town. But Trumley Road is the truck route and avoids the covered bridge, which goes up to the property from the center of town. This is a service road used by farmers and truckers to deliver goods and products to Waitsfield and Warren. It extends all the way to the town of Warren. Milk trucks travel this road and they're the same size and weight as, as the water trucks. We'll go to the end where there's a stop sign and take a right on North Road. North Road becomes Common Road and runs parallel to Route 100 and again travels all the way to Warren. At the top of the hill, we'll be able to take a left onto East Road, which goes directly to Springstone Farm. East Road, also to the right, goes directly down into the center of town, but it's called Jocelyn Hill Road at that point. East Road becomes Long Road, which is the frontage of Springstone Farm at Reed Road. Again, we're showing the overview, Route 100, traveling along Trumley Road, a right onto North Road. And again, a left onto Long Road, which at the bend becomes East Road, and intersects with Reed Road and Springstone Farm. Glacial spring water, wind energy, hydropower, solar power, all available on this magnificent property.